Hey guys, this is Salem Skaters YouTube channel, and I'm gonna be doing a quick review of my um Hackintosh HP Pavilion DB6000, and I got Snow Leopard 10.6.6 on it, updated to 10.6 without any problems. Um, it's a Core 2 Duo model. 4 gigs of RAM. It's a pretty solid machine, I mean, and it works. I mean, it runs better than Windows runs on this. I mean, I was really surprised. It goes way faster and works way better than I thought it would. So, yeah. Now, the graphics, um, fully working, got full 12, what is, what's the resolution on this? It's like 1280 by 800, I think. And sound works. I just had to install a um voodoo voodoo sound um text after the install to the driver. Um the quick launch buttons, well those are of course for HP, so those won't work. Except for the sound ones they work though. I can press the sound and it'll go up and down. So yeah. I got iLife. 11 installed with iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand. Um, everything pretty much works. The, um, the Wi-Fi, the built-in Wi-Fi though, it does not work. So, I purchased a small, um, wireless, USB wireless card right there. So, yeah. There is there is a video on YouTube. It's called HP Pavilion DB6000 running um 10.6.5. It's put up by um Profit Geek 33, and the Wi-Fi and webcam works on his. He used a different install method than I use. So if those are something that you like absolutely need, then I recommend going to his video. And I'm going to um. I'm going to see if I can get on um, that video as a video response in mine. So yeah, and everything is pretty much works. This is the thing I was just talking about. It's really fast. Startup is fast. I'm using the Chameleon bootloader. I'm actually dual booting with Windows 7 right now, so I can load up each any either one that I would want. I have a 500 gig hard drive in it. So I have my Mac partition, my Windows partition. I'll show you shutdown and I'll restart it with Windows. I'll restart it with Mac. It's actually it's a pretty fast thing. It's better than you would expect for Mac to be running on a PC. So once it's off, I'm going to turn it back on, see the HP logo and Chameleon bootloader will start up. It says press any key to enter startup options, so I did, I can go to Mac or Windows, I'll show you guys Windows right now. Got Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, yeah, Windows 7 Ultimate Swiss. It's a very fresh copy. I've only, I've had, like, my dual boot set up for, like, maybe two weeks now, but I've only used Windows 7, like, once or twice. So, I'll show you Windows 7. And, everything is pretty much... Working. <coughs> so, I've got the Wi-Fi does work on Windows 7 though, but I prefer to use that anyway since it's wireless in capability and my car is a wireless G. 
day on the skater. Um, I don't really have anything on this yet, but as you can see, works. I got all hardware working with Windows 7. Most of it working with Mac. I still have to, um, wait. Yeah, I still have to activate it. But, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 bit processor, 4 to duo. So, oh, yeah. And I'll show you how fast the Mac No Leopard boots up as soon as Windows 7 shuts down. Alright, it's turning back on now. Um, the method I used to install was the iBoot method, which you download a zip file package, um, like on Windows 7, and just burn it to a CD. And I've tried, the first couple of times I've tried it, it didn't work. So, um, I ended up burning it with a free free software called IMG Burn and there's an option to make the disk bootable in that and I recommend if you're going to want to use the method I use to use IMG Burn because you can make the disk bootable which is what you need so you just burn it to a CD you start up your computer and um, you put in your window you put in your Snow Leopard disk and just go through and install as normal and if you want to do a boot with Windows like I did, you just um, partition your hard drive into two, install, and always install Snow Leopard first, install Windows second. But, yeah, I got the battery status working, sound works perfectly. Um, like I said, webcam, here I'll show you this. For some reason, my webcam, when I open up something like Photo Booth, the light on the webcam comes on and it detects HP webcam in photo booth but there is no video for some reason and I don't know why let it focus for a second detects HP webcam doesn't work on Skype or nothing either um for some reason though the webcam does work on like websites like chat roulette the webcam works I don't know why I mean if it doesn't work it just shouldn't work but it works there that's not really a big problem for me since I have an external webcam though I, I just use that but everything is pretty it's pretty good I'm very um pleased and if I get a, if I get maybe two, three, one, couple, if I, someone wants me to do a tutorial on this, I will, showing you how to install Snow Leopard and get it on um, booting up with the method I use. And Prophet Geek 33, you can use his method. Um, he put up a video explaining how. And um. Yeah, I just, I really recommend doing this if you, if you want a Mac, you think they look cool, you want the programs they can have, or if you've just never used one and just want to experiment with one, I think this is a really good thing, um, for you to try. But, like, if you already have Windows, you're just gonna wanna, you're gonna have to format your hard drive, so, like, I have an external drive, I just, all I really put on it was my music and little, like, maybe 20 pictures. That's all I really had. The programs I can just re-download from everywhere, so. Yep. But, it's 10.6.6. Everything works. The app store works. Um, for playing movies, though, you have to... It works for installing software, burning software burning movies but for watching a DVD
for um, watching the DVD, you have to download VLC Media Player for Mac. It's a free download. Um, then you'll just pop in a DVD. You'll be able to use it. And in the VLC Media Player, you need um, 0 0.8.5. It's not the newest version, but it's um, it's one that confirmed working with the Hackintoshes in this model to um to watch movies but everything so yeah you can do anything you would normally do with a DVD burner drive you just you need VLC 0.8.5 to watch movies and it works um so, the things that do not work, like the webcam and everything, but everything that you would need, like everything to, like really use your computer works great. Um, the ethernet does work, the internet cord thing, and like I said, this is for um, Wi-Fi, I mean you can pick, you can get one of those off of eBay, Amazon. For probably as cheap as about five bucks to twenty bucks if you want a good one. I got a wireless N one. It was like eighteen dollars I think. But yeah. I'll show you the system profile right here so you can see some of my hardware specs. Um, I have it, I have the system definitions as a MacBook Pro, so it sees my, um, thing as a MacBook Pro. Sound works, Intel High Definition Audio. There is no Bluetooth on this laptop, so. Disk burning works, Ethernet works, graphics fully work. Um, it does, it detects my 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is works, um, battery works, battery status works, I just had to install a voodoo package, which take, took about like maybe 30 seconds, and it was real easy, um, oh, on the USB, it shows the HP webcam under the tree, but for some reason, like I said before, it doesn't work. But everything else pretty much basically works. If you have any questions or comments, just comment down below. Check out my other videos if you want to see me playing guitar. Um, or I got one about hacking your school's firewall. Get on Facebook and stuff. School. So yeah, Dale and the Skaters YouTube channel. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like, tell your friends. Um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.